Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Java interview questions. That is, what is the difference between length predefined variable, length predefined method, and size predefined method in Java? Let me answer. Using the length predefined variable, we can find the size of an array. And coming to the second one, that is length predefined method, we can find the size of a string. And also the last one, using the size predefined method, we can find the size of collections like array list. We can find the size of uh, array list. We can find the size of the hash set. We can find the size of the hash map. Okay. So the difference here is simple length predefined variable for finding the size of the arrays. Length predefined method for finding the size of the string. Size predefined method for finding the size of the collections. Okay, that's the difference, guys. Let me practically demonstrate this for you. For that, I'll switch to this Eclipse IDE and create a new class here. I'll just randomly name this class as, let's say, class R with some main method. Inside this main method, let's create an array integer array ar is equal to new integer array or instead of giving like this i'll give the shortcut representation of the array like this 9 comma 5 comma 1 comma 7 comma 8 comma 6 6 comma 2 comma 4 comma 3 okay like that some elements i gave okay so i have stored some now if i want to find the size of this array there is a predefined variable in Java known as length predefined variable that I can call with the help of this object reference of this integer array or whatever the array ar dot length. This will give you the size length predefined variable of the arrays will give you the size of the arrays. So int array size is equal to that's it. Okay. Now print it out system dot out dot print ln array size. You see length predefined variable. We'll find the size of this array, guys. Run the code and observe that the size of the array will be printed in the output that is 9 got printed. Let's find it out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Total 9. Size of the array 9 got printed in the output. Okay. So this is how we can find the size of the array using length predefined variable. And coming to the next one that is length predefined method using which we can find the size of a string. So here I'll say string. Name is equal to Arun Motori. I'll give my name, my full name. And I would like to find the size of this uh, string text. So for that, I'll simply say name dot length I'll call. It is a length predefined method. Okay. This is the length predefined method. Hold the mouse on this and say it is returning you int, uh, int, uh, int, I'll say uh, spring size. Okay. Spring size. Here I'm not using length predefined variable. I am using the length predefined method to find the size of this particular string text. I'll print it out system dot out dot print ln. String size I will say. String size I will say and uh, see in the output. Run the code and see in the output. Uh, we got 12. Okay. 12 is the size we got. So let's find it out. 1, 2, 3, 4, including spaces 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, total 12. 12 is the size of the string text and we have we have to find the size of the string text with the help of the length predefined method, okay? Whereas length predefined variable for finding the size of the array, length predefined method for finding the size of the string text and the third one is the size predefined method, okay? We now have the third one that is the size predefined method to find the size of collections like array list, hash set, hash map, etc. So first, uh, I'll take one of them. I'll not take everything. I'll take array list, let's say. I'll show you one of these collections I will take like array list and show you how to find the size of that array list. Okay. I just create an array list. A list is equal to new array list. And I'll import this. I can say control shift O or I can hover the mouse and say create uh, import array list from java.util package. Here warning messages are coming. Just provide less than greater than symbols to specify the type of the objects that you would like to store into this array list. So I'll say integer object I would like to store. Now into this array list, I would like to add some elements. So uh, array list dot uh, add of uh, let's say nine. 
array list dot add of uh, let's say five. For sample, I'll add only three elements. Okay, seven. Now I would like to find the size of the array list. That is, how many objects are assigned to this array list or stored in this array list? I would like to find. For that, to find the size of the array list, we have to use size predefined method. So the name of the array list dot size predefined method I have to call here. I should not be using length predefined variable or length predefined method here. Instead, I have to be have to use size predefined method here, and this will get you the size of this array list. Okay, in the array list size, I'll say, and I'll just print it out. System dot out dot print ln system dot out dot print ln array list uh, size. Okay, like this. Now run the code and observe that the size of the array list will be printed. That is three should be printed in the output. You see, three got printed. The size of the array is nine. Total nine elements are there. The size of the string text is 12. Total 12 is there. Then the size of this array list is three. With the help of the size predefined method, we found it out. So hope guys with practical demonstration, I've answered this question for you. That is what is the difference between length predefined variable, length predefined method, and size predefined method in Java. Length predefined variable can be used for finding the size of the array. Length predefined method in Java can be used for finding the size of a string text. Whereas a size predefined method can be used in Java for finding the size of the collections like array list, hash set, hash map, etc. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye bye.